Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday Favorites with Fooies for you today, and it was a really good week. Um, I started at Sephora last weekend, and for you guys that missed last week's Friday Favorites, I am working there part-time, just like one night a week since I still have my full-time job, um, but just kind of for funsies and for the education, and yeah. But it was just a blast. Like, I had so much fun. It was definitely fast-paced, but it was just so much fun. Like if you're a makeup junkie, it's like a kid in a candy store. And I got to color match several girls for their foundation and put the foundation on them and powder and bronzer. And one girl I did her eye makeup or really just her eyeshadow. But um, it was just so much fun. I loved it. So I'm super excited about that. So that was a lot of fun. Um, this week, I don't have a ton of things to tell you about. I kind of played with several of the same things over and over for several days, but um, the things that I do have to tell you I really, really liked. And I do have a fooey and or two fooies. I'm really not sure which one is the culprit, but I think I know. So we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about a fooey and or fooies. So anyway, yeah, let's jump in. Okay, on my nails this week, I've got another Julie G polish. It's this kind of like purpley, periwinkle sort of blue. It is so cute. It's sort of like a powdery blue, like a baby blue, but it it looks like it has just a little hint of purple in it. It is so cute. This is from um, her summer line. What's it called? The Cru Cruise Collection? I can't remember. Um, but this is in Santorini. And it was amazing. It applied so easily. No application problems. It just was smooth, not streaky, very opaque, and it has lasted so well. I have had this on for days. And it just lasts and lasts and looks amazing, easy to apply. Julie G polishes are now my favorite. I'm just going to say it. I don't have Rite Aids near me, so I'm always going to have to order online on Jessie's Girl Cosmetics, but they have free shipping over $20, and the summer set I actually got on Groupon, so sometimes there's sales on group Groupons with her line, but I just love the formula of her polishes. I've always been a China Glaze girl, and I still like China Glaze a lot, but these formulas are better. They really are. They last better. They look better. They're just amazing, and they're like $4, so they're cheaper too. So I am a huge fan of her polishes. I am so glad that I finally tried them because I'm hooked, and this color is just so cute, so perfect for spring and summer. Adorable. I love it. For blush this week, I wore Max Peaches several times. I posted a tutorial on Wednesday, and I actually used it in that tutorial, and I didn't remember that because I'd been wearing it several times this week, and it's just a really beautiful, like very, I don't know, light kind of tannish peach. It's very, very wearable. I just love it. That's what it looks like right there. So cute. It's really easy to apply. It looks really nice on the cheeks and it goes with so many different things. I've heard girls talk about MAC peaches and I don't know. I mean, I, I figured I would like it because I love MAC stuff and I love MAC blushes and yeah, I figured I would like it, but I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. And this is a sheer tone blush. So you can really like apply it lightly or you can build it up. So even though it says sheer, you really can get a lot of color out of it. You know, you just build up more layers and then it's, you know, very opaque. So it's just a really beautiful formula, beautiful shade, perfect for this time of the year, spring and summer. And the MAC blushes, I've said this a million times, they wear so well on my skin. They're just, they really are one of my favorite blush formulas. I love MAC blushes and Peaches is so cute. Okay, for eyeshadow this week, I have several favorites. So the first one I wanna mention, this is the uh, Laura Mercier Baked Eye Color that you can use wet or dry, and this is in Black Carrot. You've probably heard several girls on YouTube talk about this because it's it's kind of, you know, a cult favorite. And it's just beautiful. I wore this last weekend to work at Sephora, and oh my gosh, like, look at it even on my finger. Like, that is incredible. So pretty. And I think, I can't remember if I wore this wet or dry, but I think it's beautiful either way. Like, both both ways are incredible. It's just gorgeous. It's like a, um, I don't even know how to describe that. Let me let you look at it before I start describing it. It's, 
kind of in like a dirty olive shade with really beautiful gold shimmer in it. It is amazing. I love it wet, I love it dry. It's easy to use. It really doesn't have like a lot of fallout and it's not really high maintenance. So it's easy to use, but it's just beautiful. And it's one of those shadows that you can just apply this over your lid, maybe a blending shade, or maybe you just kind of blend this up a little bit. And it can be that one shadow look for you. And it's just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just beautiful. I love it. So wore that. It just looks very glamorous. That's how I would just describe it. It's just, I mean, that looks like wha-bam. Kind of reminds me of um, the Makeup Geek Utopia pigment. So it's that like really beautiful kind of old gold look that's just gorgeous. Love it. And then I also broke out my Too Faced, um, what is this called? Uh, I think this was like the Celebrating 15 Years with Sephora. So it's like Too Faced and Sephora, they did like a palette together. Um, I bought this on clearance like from Sephora um, on their website like well after when it came out. So I got it a lot cheaper and it's just like, I don't know, it's just a really fun palette for spring. I think it's so cute. And like I said, this was limited edition, but um, I just wanted to mention it because I have been playing with it and I feel like quite a few girls have mentioned this palette. So you may have it in your collection, so don't do like me. I bought this and just kind of put it away and forgot about it and it's so cute. Like I wore um, this shade right here. If this is not the exact shade that is in the um, A Few of My Favorite Things palette, was it called tinsel? That kind of greenish shade. If that's not it, it's very, very close. So I wore that shade. I wore the um, teal there. Oh, I mean, these are like beautiful. What else did I wear? Oh, I wore this, um, this one's Market. It's this kind of like um, burgundy type shade. Oh, so pretty. And you can put these on your lid and just do more colorful looks, or you can just pop the like more colorful ones on your lower lash line. And just you know get a little fun pop of color look at those ah oh, so metallic so beautiful I just love them like Too Faced shadows they're not a hundred percent always a hit because I definitely got some I've gotten some misses with their shadows but overall I really like their shadows and I mean, their palettes are just fun. Like this, even this um, blush in here, the uh, Who's Your Poppy blush. This one was in the um, A Few of My Favorite Things, I think. Was it in that one or the Ulta set? But it kind of reminds me of Nars's Orgasm. So this is really beautiful. And then the bronzers, of course, the um, Chocolate so Soleil bronzer. Beautiful. Let me just swatch this blush. Oh, look at that. I wore that this week and it was just like beautiful. Covering up my thumb because I have a habit of picking at my um, cuticles. Does anybody else do that? It's really not attractive. So I'm hiding my thumb from you. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just really love this and I've been playing with it this week and I think it's a lot of fun. And then finally for eyeshadow, I started playing with my Ulta Color Pure Eyeshadow Pigments. I posted about these on my Instagram and you guys all wanted to know what I thought about them. So I started playing with just a couple of colors. This one is in Icing and I don't know how to even show this to you, but it's kind of like a pinky iridescent kind of a shade. It's mostly a pinky shade. It's very light, um, like almost a white, gold, pink, iridescent kind of shade but it has a little sifter in there. So when you open it, it opens like this and it's got this little hole in the middle. So it just pops up just the, um, the tiniest bit of product so that you don't have just a ton of pigment everywhere. So, you know, that's one of the negatives about pigments is that they're high maintenance because they get everywhere and you get too much and it's just more work to mess with them where this helps at least a little bit. So I like that a lot. I like the packaging of it, but this color is so pretty and it like really packs a punch. This reminds me of the L'Oreal Infallible that came out that was called, um, was it Strawberry Blonde? I think it was spring, I believe it was spring last year, but it's just really light and glowy 
And when I went to first play with these, like, I can't remember if I put them on wet or dry because I've tried them both ways. I can't remember when I first tried it, but anyway, I put it on my eyes, either wet or dry, and I remember I was like, whoa, like it totally took over my eye look and I was not expecting that. So it's really a beautiful shadow and I haven't played with all of them yet, but this is the color that I played with the most this week and I really do like it. You guys know that I like a really... Not always, I love a smoky eye too, and I do smoky eyes a lot, but I love a light lid because I just feel like it brightens up your face, brings attention to your eyes, looks so pretty and youthful for the spring and summer too. Like I just love a light, bright lid, especially the inner half. And this one's a great shade to do it with. So this icing shade, the loose eyeshadow from Ulta, I really, really like this, it's pretty. I got these for, they were on sale on Ulta's website, I think in store too, but I haven't seen them in my store, for like $4, and normally I think they're $10. So yeah, that's when I got them, and I got every single shade. So if you wanna see a full review on these, let me know. Um, I first heard about them from my friend, Crystal, so I will um, list her channel down below. You probably know who she is, but if you don't, definitely need to go check her out. She did a whole review video on the colors that she has, which she has like most of the neutral shades. So I'll just list that video so you can go watch hers. But if you want me to do one too, let me know and I'll try to fit that in. But um, hers is really awesome. So that's why I ended up getting so many of them was after her review. She totally sold me and they really are amazing. I love them. Okay, for lips this week, I've got to go with what I'm wearing right now. And I've actually worn this a couple of times this week. Not the lip liner, but definitely the lipstick. So the lip liner, um, I'm just wearing this today. I didn't do this earlier in the week, but I love this liner. I love all these liners. These are the Milani Color Statement Lip Liners, and this one is in Fuchsia. These are so creamy, and they just like glide on your lips. They are so pigmented, and just the formula of them is so good. It's creamy, but not like, not sticky. Like sometimes, I love the Jordana lip liners and I wear them a lot. So I do really, really like those, but sometimes they can get a little sticky and so can the Rimmel ones. Like East End Snob, I love the color of that one, but it's so tacky and a strange texture. These are not like that at all. They are just like super pigmented, super creamy, love them. So that's what that looks like by itself. So that's fuchsia. I have the red one, love it too. So these are great and I think they're like 550 or so. So that's what I'm wearing today. I was just kind of, because I was wearing it all day to work, I really wanted to make sure it lasted. So I've got that lip liner on. And then I also have, and I've worn this a couple of times this week, love this one. This is Max Show Orchid. And I think it's called Wild Orchid from Revlon. That's almost I believe it's almost an exact exact dupe. I have a whole lipstick dupes video and I never remember what I put in that, but I remember I was super picky about my dupes, so I'll list that one down below. I think I always have that video listed in my description bar. But um, anyway, this is the bit lipstick I'm talking about, not the dupe. But if you want a dupe, I believe it's Revlon's Wild Orchid. Watch the video to be sure for sure, to be absolutely sure. But this is Max Show Orchid and you can see it on my lips. It's just like, I would say this is like a super flashy, fun, 80s hot pink lip. And I just think it's a blast. Like, it just looks like a fun time. It's a hot pink, but that kind of like duochrome metallic flashing to it is I, I think what makes it so much fun. Um, and what gives it the more 80s sort of vibe. Yeah, like I can kind of see like a purple flash is what I notice when I look at it. Something is wrong with mine. I think it's gonna break off to be honest and that makes me really sad. <laughs> it's crooked. <laughs> Do you see it? It's like, it's leaning. It's getting a little sad. Like the leaning tower of Pisa, it's, it's going. And when I go to put it on my lips, it makes like a, like a creaking noise. <laughs> so that makes me sad. Um, so I'm trying to be delicate with it and just barely pull it out, you know, and, and then apply it rather than whatever. So anyway, the color is still the same. It's still a beautiful shade and just, 
hot pinks lately. I don't know what the deal is. You know, I said that in my April favorites, but hot pink lips, I've been totally into them, and apparently it's still continuing into May because I've grabbed for show Orchid several times, and it's just one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. I think it's so much fun. Okay, on to my Fooies this week. So let me start with the I'm not sure if this is the Fooey. So let me tell you the story. So over the weekend, I noticed my eyes were so ridiculously irritated and sensitive, I knew something was wrong. <laughs> like, it just didn't seem like allergies. It definitely seemed like something on my eyes that I was allergic to. When I was working last Saturday, I was wiping my eyes, like, because my eyes were watering over and over and over. So I was getting super irritated under here because I was wiping so much, but something on my eyes was irritating me. So it's one of two things that I grabbed. The first one is the BH Cosmetics It's Judy Time Palette, which would make me so sad if it's this, because this is beautiful. Like, the pigmentation of these shadows, it's just gorgeous. Like, this is an amazing palette. I really, really love it. And I wore it a couple of times. If it is this palette, I think it's possibly this shade right here because that's what I was wearing on my lower lash line and I think that that's where the irritation was coming from. I'm not really sure. I can't really tell because it might have just been that my eyes were watering and I was wiping it so much that my lower lash line was more sore because I was wiping with my finger over and over. But I don't know. Possibly this, but I actually don't think it is. So if it's not, I love this palette because the pigmentation is beautiful and they like glide on your eyes really well. They're really pretty and I love the collection of colors. So I hope it's not this. I think even more sadly that it is my Inglot eyeliner, my gel eyeliner in matte 77. Now I've had this for about a year I don't think it would go bad, but it seemed a little dry when I used it, but I think it's this. I really do. Possibly the It's Judy Time palette, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's this because um, I wore this a few more days and my eyes still seemed irritated, but then for the last several days I've just been using my Physician's Formula, um, what's it called? Eye Booster? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think it's Eye Booster in Ultra Black, which I love. I really, really love that liner. Once I started doing that, my eyes have not watered at all, all week. So I think it's this. I don't know. I guess it's either A, gone bad, or B, A, B, or I'm just allergic to it. I don't know. Um, but something sad is going on, and it, I mean, my eyes, I can't even tell you. I was so frustrated. There I am, like, would you like me to do my your eye makeup for you? wipe 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 <laughs> and I'm like all irritated like literally right here I had like no makeup left like concealer gone eye makeup gone because I had wiped so many times but um I just kept trying to like blend and act like it wasn't there but yeah something was the culprit one of these two but I'm pretty sure it was this so so sad because this is so creamy so pigmented oh my finger is still dyed from the eyeshadow. So pigmented, just, uh, it would be a tragedy if it's this, because this is an amazing liner. It lasts so well, it's ridiculously pigmented in black. I don't know, but I think my eyes are just not a fan of it, so, so sad. Alright guys, so those are all my Friday favorites and fooies for this week. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know what kind of things have you been loving this week, or not so much loving. Um, if you have tried any of these products that I mentioned, let me know your thoughts and opinions on them. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!